Hi, I'm Nancy O'Neill. On Suncoast FYI today, I'm joined by Karen Koblenz from The Exchange, a look at Greatness Beyond Measure Teen Summit, and it's Christmas in July with Barb McSweeney. All next on Suncoast FYI. consignment store like no other. The Exchange is a favorite place for Sarasota residents and a must-visit destination site for visitors from around the world. Joining me now is Karen Koblenz, Executive Director and CEO. Nice to see you. Thank you for having me. Oh, now you've been CEO and Director for how many years? Karen? It's coming on seven years now. Seven years. Yes. Now, the Women's Exchange has been in existence for how long? Since 1962. Okay, in the same location, right? No, no it's moved. but since 1967, I think, yeah. we've been in the same location. Okay, now it started off as the Women's Exchange, but now it's the Exchange. So tell us, has have things changed or just the name? Well, yeah, things have changed. Okay. Um, the Women's Exchange has been kind of known as the Exchange for a long time by a lot of our consigners mm -hmm. and shoppers and sure. volunteers. And when we decided to do the uh, recent remodel and add men's clothing and also a local um, art galleria, uh -huh. we decided it was time to make it official and we would change it to the Exchange. Okay, so that's why the name changed. So yes. was there a lot of deliberation about that or everybody was pretty much on board because that's what everybody had been calling it? Right? Yeah. It, it was an easy decision it was an to easy make. Decision. Yes. Okay. So tell us more about what you do philanthropically in the community, Karen. Well, the Women's Exchange is our primary mission is to support the arts of our community, mm -hmm. whether that's through grants to local art organizations or scholarships to students who are pursuing a higher education in the arts. Mm -hmm. We just got done celebrating our award celebration on uh, June 7th and we gave away a quarter of a million dollars. In scholarships? And grants, yes. Oh my goodness. So. How do you, how does one apply for that if somebody is interested? Um, we start the application process in November of every year mm -hmm. and um, all of the applications need to be submitted by uh, January 31st. Okay. After that then the board, they deliberate on the applications and make a decision as far as who they want to award money to. Okay, and all of that's on your website and we'll put yes, that up is. for our viewers. Okay, thank you. So as a consignment store, what makes the exchange different? I've been in there and I can think of a few things, but what, what do you feel that makes it unique? I think it's, it's the size. It's, 15,000 square oh feet, so that's a lot of space to fill, but we also carry everything that you can imagine. Mm -hmm. um, we have a wonderful um, fine jewelry section, mm -hmm. costume jewelry, we now carry men's clothing, the Galleria, a lot of um, artwork, which you know, mm -hmm. and um, we also have a wonderful ladies department and um, furniture, so we carry just about anything that you can imagine. But I think what makes it so unique is the fact that we sell around 12,000 items a month. So oh that means gosh. that yeah, inventory is constantly changing and we have yeah. over 5,000 active consigners. Wow. So. Now, there's a lot of volunteer work that help you oh, do tremendous. that. Oh, okay. tremendous. We have 260 volunteers. Without them, we would cease to exist. Right, right. So how does one go about consigning with you then? Well, it's a process, and yes. we ask everybody to be patient with us yes. because on a consignment day, we will see up to 250 people, and that's between 8.30 in the morning and 12.30 in the afternoon. Wow. So there's no appointments. People just show up? They show up on the consignment days. We accept consignments on Tuesdays. Let me see, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Okay, all right. right. Wow, that's a lot to process. It is. Okay, all right. And how can people in the community get involved with being part of you? I mean, other than, you know, there's that way, they can bring their things in and right. sell. What else can they well, do? Well, you know what, just by shopping at the Women's Exchange mm -hmm. is a form of giving because that is how we earn all of the money. Mm -hmm. We uh, do literally no fundraising whatsoever. Everything that we award annually is um, 
is earned through the consignment operation. Okay. Now, can, tell, let's go back a little bit. How you, you said that there's a board and they choose who you're going to actually give the the scholarships yes. or the grants to. How do they decide? I mean, and how many people do you have apply? I mean, I must I must think there's a lot of people. Well, almost every art organization in town applies for uh -huh. a grant, and one of the great things is is that it's something that a lot of them have come to depend on. Mm -hmm. And sure. um, but probably about maybe 75 applications come in a year. Uh -huh. And the board, they look at it based on um, an individual's commitment to the community, mm -hmm. you know, their grade point average and things of that nature. Mm -hmm. It is definitely a um, scholarship that is based on their, on their abilities and not uh, need-based. Okay. Anything else that you'd like to add that, that has kept you so enthralled and in love with the exchange these years? Yeah, there is actually. One of the things that I am so proud of is the fact that the organization is just all about giving. Everything about the Women's Exchange is about giving. Mm -hmm. Yes, we give away the grants and scholarships, but we also give over two million back to our consigners, which benefits our local community. Wow. We're also a green business, so that's that's pretty great too. That's awesome. Now, Thank where you. is your new location? You said you've you've moved or you've just expanded? We no, we've just expanded. We purchased the short stop, which abuts the Women's Exchange, okay. so we were able to add on an extra three thousand five hundred square feet or something like that. Awesome. Okay, and what of your hours are of operation? We are open Monday through Friday from um, nine o'clock in the morning until um, until four, and on Saturday from ten to four. Great. Thank you. Thank you. Pleasure. We'll see you soon. Thank you. Coming up after the break, we take a look at a program helping empower teens for life, so please stay with us.